This is the grade 7 math practice test for TN Ready. This is question number 17 on this version. Select the three expressions that are equivalent to 3 fifths times A plus 10. Now, the thing about this question is it has 3 in bold there, which means it's a big deal to them. Emotionally, they care about it. So make sure that when you pick your answer, you choose three of them. If you choose two of them, it's not going to be correct. If you choose one, spoiler alert, not going to be correct. So usually when I work problems, I want to work almost as if there are no answer choices, but the ones where they have you select from answer choices like these, um, where they have multiple ones and you have to choose some of them and not all of them, I tend to just look at the answer answers themselves and just analyze whether they meet the criteria or not. So I'm trying to make it be 3 fifths times A plus 10. The choice A the only relationship between the two uh, between the three components here would be that they're being added together so this is just a combined like terms if i have anything with an a i put one line underneath it and i usually actually put my constant terms which are the numbers in like a little they used to be doritos in my head but i don't know why so i need to combine anything that's alike well 3a plus or one fifth a plus two fifth a, one plus two is three, and they both have the same denominator, so that looks like three fifths a plus ten. So there's one of my answer choices right there. A is a choice. Four b. The thing about this one is it's very tempting to choose it because when you do your first distribution, you'll end up with three fifths times a right and then you're like oh there it's totally because it's got plus 10 nope the a also has to be distributed to the 10 10 a or 10 a nope not the same thing b is out for c again i'm going to do the same thing i did before line under here and i always pull the when I make my little triangle Doritos, I always look at the sign in front. What operation is it asking me to do? Well, 3 fifths A is by itself, so that's done. And then 14 minus 4 is 10. So that one's looking good as well. So C is also one. Also kind of looks like a, a guy's face with triangular glasses. So for the next one, 1 fifth times 3 a plus 50. So the first thing I'm going to do is distribute the 1 fifth. And 3 is 3 over 1. Any number that's a whole number is itself over 1. So it's 3 over 1. When I do multiplication of fractions, I multiply the denominators and then multiply, or the numerators, and then I multiply the denominators, right? So that's 3 fifths. So that works. 3 fifths. A. The, maybe the harder part, or maybe not, is the 50 times 1 fifth thing. 50 over 1 times 1 fifth. 50 times 1 is 50. 1 times 5 is 5. And five, or 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. So positive 10. That's exactly what it's supposed to be. So answer D is also correct. That's really the only big deal about that problem. It's not super complicated. You can check this with your calculator if you want. This is a calculator allowed section. I just don't like to do one-fifth times three, but it is certainly possible just to be a bit of a sporting type. I'll do one-fifth and then times three, and that will give me 0. 0.6. And if you wanted to try three divided by five to see if it's the same thing, you can. And then you do... 1 fifth, which is 1 divided by 5, times uh, times 50, sorry. And that gives you 10, just like you asked for. Now, why does the last one fail? It's another one of the combined things, right? So I've got my little Dorito guy here. This has a line under it. This has a line under it. And this has a line under it. So the plus 10 checks out. Everything's looking good there. But the problem is... This minus A is really easy to overlook. So it's easy to think like, oh, it's got nothing there. But it's actually an entire one. So you have two-fifths plus one-fifth. Listen, I know it looks like a three over here. 
Now my pen's being all weird. Welcome to the realities of my life. There you go. So you've got your three-fifths. The problem is you're subtracting an entire one. Not one over five, five over five. So you'd end up with negative two-fifths A plus ten. That's not the same thing, obviously. So your answer would be A, C, and D. Now I might go ahead and put that somewhere on my paper so that when I carry it over to my answer sheet, I'm more likely to get it correct and not make a careless mistake that will haunt you for however long it will haunt you. So that's it. A, C, and D.